Okay, we're going to have some fun here, right? I'm not going to play any silly background music. It won't be a big preamble. In Dragon uh, 19, was it 1985, January 1985, issue 93, with this horrible cover, there is a great article by Frank Mincer about how to say stuff in D&D, all the goofy names, all the locations. And I get teased a lot because I say them wrong all the time, and I openly admit that I say Aya's wrong and Assyriac wrong and all this kind of business. So we're going to zoom in here, and we're going to go through some of the more popular words. And this is coming from the source, right? <clears throat> and I'm not going to do all of them because there's like thousands of them. Let's look through here and try to find ones that seem... There's there's our friend here, right? Okay, so I would always call this Assyriac. Okay, skipping this E section that's in the middle here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what the hell we're talking about. Let's go closer here. We're looking right here, right? So it says here, the A and then S-E-R dash U-R dash at K. So, Asurak. Asurak. So, Asurak. So there's another syllable. So it's four syllables. Asurak. Asurak. So it looks kind of weird because it looks like this a-C-E-R is like a computer, like Acer computer, not Acer. So we're spoiled because in modern day we think of Acer computers, right? So I would say Acer, Acer, like Acer, who's a soothsayer, Acerac, Acerac. And I would skip this E. So you're supposed to say Acerac, so Acerac, which hurts in four syllables. That's kind of weird. Okay, let's go find another one. I, will st I probably will not be able to change my behavior. Now these A's look... Too ridiculous. Asmodeus, that's fine. Let's go to the letter B. Oh, this is a good one to spell Augury. And the source is the letter P. It says what book it's in, like Player's Handbook. So I just called it Augury, right? Three syllables. Augury. Augury. So I'm not doing too bad on that one. Oh, gosh. This looks like Balebrith. Balebrith. That's pretty good. Balzabulb. Bale, bale, balezabul. So not bile, <laughs> not bile, like bile that comes in your organs in your digestive tract. Bale. So we always say bale in Diablo three, right? Diablo two, et cetera, et cetera. So balezabul. Okay, that's fine. Baba Yaga. That's not too hard. What else is in here? A balor. How about that? Balor. Yeah, not a balor. Bahamut. Bah. Bahamut. Okay, that's fine. Bardiche. This is how I was always called this. I would say bar de chez, as if it's some kind of French dish that's served with flaming cheese. So it's actually a bar dish. So it's two syllables. So I'll have the two bar dish to go, dude. So I don't, a bar dish. So I've been saying bar de chez my entire life. It's funny because when you first saw these words, we're playing D&D in &D, 78, 79, little kids, eight in, in middle school and high school. You see the word and you just try to say it. And all your friends say it too, and no one like whips out the dictionary and tries to figure out how to s say the word. So, uh, a behir, a behir. Oh, so this is a behir. Even I said this the other day, right? We were going through a monster manual in fourth edition. I call it a behir, a behir, behir. Okay, that's fine. Belial, that's fine. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Burbalang, burba, lang, lang, ang, ang. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. This weapon here, I would call this a bill guzarm. <laughs> Bill Guis, Guis arm. Bill Guis arm. Uh, oh, here's a great one. Here's the goddess from uh, the Shrine of the Kuatoa, which is D2 in the Giant series, right? We call it Blip Dool Poop. <laughs> blip Dool Poop. Hey, we got that one right. Well, it looked like Poop. But notice how you don't have the L in here, so the L could be silent. So Blip Dool Pool, but there's a P on the end. So in the pronunciation here from Frank, it says blib. All right, got that. Dual, got that. Poop. So they're skipping the L, so why do you put the L in there? Why is it not poop? Poop. <laughs> Sorry, it probably sounds like crap on the microphone. All right, well, we're learning. This is, I love going back to school at age 58 years old. Okay, let's go down here. Cerebus, uh, Cerebus. So I always say ser, ser. Cerebus, Cerebus. They say Cerebus. It's like learning Chinese. Okay, what else is in C's? Chimera. I always did that as the C-H. Like chaotic. Chi they say Kim Ura. What? Kim or Kim Iru or Kim Ura. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, this is a good one. The, the elf god from the book Ever Meet. Corlon Lurethian. Let's see what they say. Cor... Cor Elon, 
Corillon, La Reith Ian. Okay, that's not bad. I gave myself credit for that one. Oh, this is a good word. It's from Maya Aztec Mythology. I would call it a Kuatal. I always pronounce the C-O-U as a, as a O-O. How they say it? Kuatal. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Um, what other good words here? This always looked like Damon. So that's what I say. Damon. Yep, I got that right. Dow is Dow. No problem. Demog- I would call it Demi Gorgon. This is Demogorgon. Demogorgon. I always say Demi Gorgon. I don't know why. Darrow is Darrow. Okay. Diva. That's fine. We've got that. We've done that right. Oh, a genie. I would call this a gin. They call it a genie. Or genie. Okay, so genie's okay. Drow is drow. How can you get that wrong? Oh, this is a good one. The little uh, dark uh, dwarves down in the underdark. I would call them Duergar. They used to call it Duergar. So mine will be Duer. I'm I'm saying it wrong. It's supposed to be Duergar. Okay, all right, all right. What else we got in here? Oh, this one, this demon, female demon. Uh, I would call them Irenes or Irenus. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just laugh, all right? So it's A-Y-R with emphasis. How would you say that? Our I knees. Our our knees. Our I knees. Our knees. It sounds like an A. It's A Y R. Okay, what other words have A Y R in it? Like today. Air. A R Air Arenes. Arenes. So it doesn't have an E sound at all. It's Arenes. Okay, and this is air to. Not er to, but air to. This is not like the word air, like Air Jordans. So that's interesting. I didn't know that. I'm going to skip the top. So I know scrolling kind of hurts on the camera. And if you're looking at your phone, it's probably goofy. I'll try not to scroll them around too much. This may be crap res too. Let's, let me pop it in closer. All right. You could probably see it better if I try to move it around too much. Furbolg. Fair. Fear. Fear bulg? What? You got to be kidding me. Why would you put two E's there? Like here, like German soldiers. Fear. How's it not fur? F U R. I would call it a fur, like a fur tree. Bulg. Fur tree, bulg. Not fear bulg. Okay, flané. I would, call, which sounds like another French omelet or something. I shall have the flané, please. And a shot of Jack Daniels. This is flanis. So flanis, you get N E S or is that Ness? No, it's flanes. It's not two E's. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this one, <laughs> cause I'll get. Uh, YouTube will strike me for using for man for profanity. <laughs> I'm even reading the wrong words wrong. This one here, here, this is okay. Formorian, 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 Formorian. I would use four syllables. It's three. It's four syllables. Four more Ian, Formorian. Okay, that's not bad. I don't even know what the devil that is. I'm not even gonna try to read it. Um, Gith Yankee, Gith Yankee. Okay, Gith Zerai. Okay, I got that right. Uh, Glabrazu, uh, Glab. <laughs> Uh, here we go, the Glaive Guzarm. I always said this wrong. This is like Glaive Guizarm. Guizarm, two E's. Gollum, no problem. Gripply, Gripply, okay. Gyno Sphinx, that was in the White Plume Mountain video we just did. Gyno Sphinx. Oh, I like that S F I N K. I mean, she doesn't stink, right? All right, let's go down here. Oh, here is a good one. Hier- <laughs> Hier- Sphinx. Here. Echo Sphinx. So they're using, I use this higher. It's like a German spelling. Like they're saying here. Interesting. They, I've seen that happen a few times. Hippogriff. Hippogriff, no problem. Homunculus. It's a hum, homunculus. Homunculus. Homunc. But there's no K. Homunc. I guess it's the M O N C in the middle. Ho, who, 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 homunculus. <laughs> How do you get an H U sound? Out of H O. Why does you not have Hugh Hugh Monk? I can see the M O C Q the C and the U are become homunculus. All right, whatever. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm it must be funny. Illithid, illithid, no problem. Uh, here we go. I did an entire video series one time. For, we were going to do this big adventure in first edition. We went back in time before the attack and we, re- we did the map for the um the uh oh gosh, what was it called? Oh, good Lord, no, I can't think of the time my phone beeped and interrupted me thinking. But anyway, uh, Village of Hamlet, and we talk about the history and stuff like that. I always call this I us, but it's use or E ooze. So it's like the letter E and then O O Z E, like ooze. So I us is completely wrong. It's E ooze. All right. 
All right, let's keep going here. I wonder if we're getting, I'm getting credits in the background. People are sending me money. This is awesome. Thank you. Um, Kenku, no problem. Kingku, okay. Kirin, that's a great beer. Let's go down past this advertisement. Sorry, it's all blurry because I'm zoomed in. And let's go to the last page here. Uh, Kapoa Synth. Kapoa Synth, got that. Kua Toa, Ku O Toa, that's great. Oh, this one was weird. The son of Kius. Kius. Uh, the, why I, they kill me every time with these things? Key, so K Y is key, and the rest is ooze. It's almost like Chinese. It's weird. Lamia, Lamia, or Lamia. Okay, great. Lamassu, Lamassu, that's fine. I thought I had a T in there. Lamass2. Lich is Lich, no problem. Loth, uh, Loth, or Loth. Okay, that's good. Uh, no. <laughs> what else we got here? What else is weird that I've said about Myconid? Myconid, okay, that's fine. I always hate this word. This was a ranking in Dark Age of Hamlet that one of my characters got for uh, Mermiden. So I would call it Mermiden. Mermiden, not Mermiden. Good, that's a great one. Um, what other words? Nistel, no problem. Okay, we're not messing. Oh, here we go. Earth. O Earth. So Earth or Air Earth or Oeth. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Oh, Shillelay. This, I'm going to skip down here. I call this Shillelay. This is like an Irish word. Shillelay. Okay, great. Oh, this is a cr tricky word. I would never be able to say this. Simulacrum. Simulacrum. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, this is a good one. These are those aquatic baddies. Sahugan. Sahuagin. Okay, this is a hua. That's like a Chinese sound. Sawakin. <laughs> All right. Rakshasha. Rakshasa. Ransur. Ran Sur. Hey, I got that right. Remorhas. Remorhas. They don't put emphasis on the H? I call it a Remorhas. Has you any candy? Uh, Remorhas. They say Remorhas or Remorhas. Oh, interesting. So there's no H sound. So the H is just an extra letter for fun. Quillen. Kulun. Okay. Quasit. Quasit. Quagoth. Quaggoth. Got that. Qual, that sounds good. Okay, Psionics, Psionics. Okay, good. Um, anything else in here that looks tricky? Pazuzu, great demon. Paladin of good lord. Of course, you don't say that. Atuga, at Ug. What? I thought it was uh, the A at the end. It's only two syllables? Okay, I got that wrong. I've, I always call it Atuga for some reason. Why would I do add extra letters? Oh, there's Nalfishi. Now Fishni. Yep, that's a demon. All right. Is that the last page? Is that S? Is there a page after this little Ralph Partha ad? Sorry, I'm skipping the ads. I'm just I'm just gonna scroll. Here we go. Last page. Succubus, no problem. Oh gosh, these are little gnome guys. I always call them Sniv Neblum. So Swerf Neblin. Swerf Neblin. Tabaxi, Tabaxi. Okay, that's good. Tazloy. Tazloy. Okay, that's good. Tensor, obvious. Tiamat. Tiamat. I used to call it Tiamat. When I was a kid, I had a character. I named my character Tiamat. Hey, it was only like 13. It's Tiamat, which sounds very feminine. Female dragon anyway, right? Trebuchet, no problem. I don't know what those words are. Oh, here we go. The Zs. These will be fun. Let's get up to the Vs first. Valkyrie, Vaprak, Vardig, Vecna. Vecna, no problem. Uh, Vizier. Vizier. Okay, got it. Avrak. A vrock. I call it a vrock. Like it's the word rock with a V in front of it. So you say vrock, you know, but this is vrack. I don't know how to get the A sound. A, a wimic. Okay, at least it's not vimic. A wimic, that's right. Weirvern. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Azorn. Okay, that's right. Azvart. Okay. Yokel. Yakla. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. This is like the demoness that's down in the Menzo Branson and the Dritz Jordan books. Uh, the other drow like communicate and talk to this. It's like a handmaiden of Lolf. So I call it a yoke. Lol. Yak lol. So they got an A sound. A K H. Yak. Yak lol. It sounds like Klingon. And I like how the one below it, I call it a Wan T. So they call it Yuan T. Oh, okay, Yuan T. Three syllables. I'd call it a Wan T. It looks like two words, one hyphen. Yuan T. Okay, that's good. Zugmoy. Zugmoy. Okay. So, and it's Gygax. All right, great. I just thought this would be a laugh. I was in a kind of a mood anyway. I wanted to see if I can just make fun of myself on how I say these words. Hey, listen, if you ever want to check this out, it's in the Dragon Magazine number 93 from 1985. Let's go to that page. 
with this crazy cover on it. The Dragon Magazine was amazing. If you young bloods have never uh, realized this, there was a monthly magazine that came out. It had tons of cool articles. It's absolutely hilarious to go back in time and look at like the ad for Dragonlance for two ninety five. <laughs> And then they'd have these kind of crappy art everywhere, and there would be editorials, and there would be like things for Classic Traveler and, and crazy advertisements that are black and white. And there would be some nice color ones in there, too. Conquest of the Empire from Milton Bradley. <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff. And most of the time, back in the beginning of the Dragon Magazine, would cater to D&D, and there would be ads for miniatures, and w not really hardcore wargaming, but if you had another role-playing game, like Star Frontiers or Bushido, um, you could... Uh, this is where you would get articles written about your game. So this is from Ed Greenwood, The Ecology of the Deep. All of this art, it's like, oh. Remember, this is pre-computer era. These magazines would be laid out by hand. Some of these art pieces are great. The Endless Quest books from TSR. And there's all these neat little, uh, you know, how high characters can jump. Have you ever asked these questions? So these like expanded rule things. So if you, if you have never gotten a copy of the Dragon uh, magazines, oh, this is a great app for Twilight 2000. This is an amazing game, really hardcore. This is... Something that happened 30 years ago now. Uh, but yeah, you should grab copies of it. Now, where do you get copies of these things in the modern day? There was a period of time, I'm going to go all the way to the back here, where you could uh, order a DVD and it would have a copy of all these. That's how I got my copies. This is the Wormy ad for uh, cartoons from a long time ago. They were very cool and colorful. In the modern world, I don't think it's on DM's Guild anymore. It may not be. So maybe someone can leave a comment, Rollmaster, wow, that's old, only 14 bucks. <laughs> um, maybe someone can say, hey, uh, you know, without pirating it, if you want to get a legit copy of this stuff, where can you get a copy of it these days? There's some great adventures in some of the old Dragon magazines. That's it for today. I hope you had fun laughing at me for 16 minutes, say all these words wrong. Take care. We'll talk to you later.